out there, Warriors for Freedom. I, I just checking in a little bit on my break real quickly. Um, boy, the week get started so fast. The weekend was busy. A, a, a friend of mine's uh, owns a men's group at church. His son got married, and uh, I just want to tell him congratulations to Nan and made a great decision. You know what I mean? And um, young men got to make those kind of decisions. I believe young men should get married early these days, or else you end up in a bunch of crap. You know, but this morning, I, I figure I should weigh in on the Weinstein a little bit. Everybody's talking about it. haven't quite been following the story. But I know one thing. Um, sexual addicts always do stupid. We do stupid because it's not about how much you got, how much power you got. It's a brain problem. Okay? And it's going to get progressively worse. So uh, am I surprised by anything Harvey Weinstein does? No. I'm not surprised. Okay? And anybody in the sexual addiction groups or in the rooms or whatever, not surprised at all. Um, not good that has happened. Finally, I want to tell you that you will get busted. You always will. Every sexual addict will get busted. Most men don't volunteer. Most men get busted. Most men's wife find the stuff. Most men will not come out because addicts don't come out. Addicts just do stupid and they do crazy because it's a brain problem. It's not about morality. It's not about being a good person. It's about the pain. Like I talked about earlier last week. It's about medicating pain. And I guarantee you, if you look in his background, you're going to find some wounds. You're going to find some woundedness. You're going to find some going back to childhood. You're going to find some instances. You're going to find some generational situations that led to this point. And like I, like I said last week, you know, it'll make you uh, go further than you want to go and pay more than you wanted to pay. And the enemy will just leave you out there hanging. But guess what? Today, I pray for Harvey Weinstein. Today, I pray because God's grace and mercy, just like Bill Cosby has given him an opportunity to come to terms and come to the reality and to come out of the dark and come out of the shadows and there's hope for him yes he has the consequences yes he's going to lose everything that's what happens when we do stupid as sexual sexual addicts that's what happens when we we don't deal with our issues and we don't bring it to god and we don't get the help that we need and people and what's really for me is the codependency that's involved the, so so many of us men i believe a lot of men knew exactly what harvey weinstein was doing Okay, just like we all our guys, our friends know what we're up to. We know what we're talking about. Um, people know information. But because there's so much shame, because there's so much guilt around it, we don't talk about it. That's why, you know, I've been having this conversation before Harvey Weinstein is possible. I, uh, it becomes the news. You know, and now all the experts and everybody's coming out. But this is something men deal with every single day. We live in a sexualized, sexy generation, and Hollywood perpetrates it. But when the devil gets ready to spit us out, when the devil gets ready uh, to sucker punch us, and when he pulls that noose around our necks, we're hung by the neck until dead. Because the devil plays to keep. He comes to kill, to steal, to destroy. So this is just a warning. This is just a warning sign, you know. Um, judgment begins in the house of God. And the world don't even stand a chance. You know, so other than us praying for Harvey Weinstein and all the ladies that have been wounded, hurt, and all of those that receive um, just injuries that we could never talk about, and uh, all those that are still carrying secrets, there are probably many, many more as sexual addicts as we do our sexual inventory, as we begin to... God, this conversation is coming to the front for everyone. Like I told you, this is going to be a conversation. And this needs to be a wake-up call for the church. We need to begin to start to talk about our issues. We begin to need to talk about sexuality. Um, just this weekend, I was talking to uh, friends who... Well, they're wondering, should I tell my kids? Should I? What should I talk to my kids about? Well, come on, man. In, in sixth grade, in, in fourth grade, they were talking to my kids about it. So if the, the school district is going to talk to your kids about it, then you, you need to begin to have this conversation. We need to come out of the hiding. We need to come out of the secrecy. The secrecy, shrouded in secrecy, all the secrets, that's what brings the pain, and that's what brings, brings the destruction. So today, my heart goes out. And I pray for Harvey Weinstein, but I thank God for his grace and mercy because now he has an opportunity to get help. Now he has an opportunity to make restitution. Now he has an opportunity to deal with his consequences, come out of the secret, get the help that he needs. And guess what? God is a God of restoration. We may not feel it now. We may live in the anger and the resentment, and we may live in all the pain, and we got to go through the process. And that's all, all a part of it. But guess what? If he's sincere, God will bring him deliverance. If he's sincere, God will bring him healing. If he's sincere, because God, God desires that none should perish, but that all, everybody, should come to repentance. Every sex addict out there, every, every lying man out there, every lying male. If God did it for me, he could do it for Harvey Weinstein. He could do it for you. So today, I want you to find somebody, talk to them. If you keep in secrets, find someone you trust. Begin to get the help that you need. Because guess what? God's shining the light on everybody. 
I man hate. It's gonna be shouted from the house top, like I always say. You're gonna get your YouTube celebrity status. You, it, you, it's coming out. It's coming out, guys. Warriors for freedom out there. If you know a man that's struggling today, and you know where he can get help, you bring him. You bring him. Don't worry about him getting upset. Hey, your wife might leave you. My wife left for a year and a half. But guess what? God is able to restore. God is able to do the work if we're willing to do the work. And so, men, today, you warriors for freedom out there. I just want to take this minute to tell you that there is hope, that there is restoration. And that, hey, it's a drug like any other drug. But the enemy wants to destroy your life, your family, your generation, your legacy. And now they're going to take all the awards. Every award that the man's ever get is gone. Just like Bill Cosby, everything is gone. My wife don't even want to watch his show no more. So it doesn't matter about that. What really matters to God is his soul. What really matters to God is that he comes to salvation and he knows Jesus Christ is Lord. And that when this happens to somebody else, it's just a warning to us that our time's going to be soon. So men, if you're struggling with pornography, you're struggling with strip clubs, you're struggling with uh, situations with women in it, and if you've done some of these things, I want you, I want you to begin to trust God in this concept. I want you to begin to realize that you can come out of the closet. And I want you to begin to realize that God's got a plan for you and a way of salvation. So today I'm going to talk a little later, more in detail. I'll probably read some things from the book. But I want you to know that God is good and God is awesome and some amazing things going to happen. And the world now is having the conversation. So guess what? We got to be there for them. We are the hope. Jesus Christ is the hope of the next generation, of this generation, and he can restore what the enemy, what the canker worm have eaten away. Okay? So I just want you to have a fantastic day. God bless you. And Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for men everywhere that they go free and they'll be honest and they allow God to do something powerful in their lives. Hi, um, Lorenzo Samir. Hello out there. Um, who else is out there? Um, whoever is out there today. Okay? Um, I'm at work right now, but I'll get with you. Um, sometime this week, okay? It'd be long, that's right, it began a long, long time ago. I used to be in Hollywood back in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. I was in a, in a music career for almost 30 years. You know, and God has had to do an amazing thing in my life. I had a lot of friends die from HIV, HIV and AIDS and a lot of consequences. But you know what? God was grace, graceful and merciful to me. And he can be to you too. I used to do a lot of recordings and a lot of music back in the day. I worked with a lot of celebrities and a lot of people, but I realized that there was an emptiness, there was a void. Okay, that sex couldn't fill, that drugs couldn't fill, that um, our relationships couldn't fill, illicit affairs couldn't fill, religious pretense couldn't fill, pretending and hiding and secrets. It, it was just a way of medicating the pain. But guess what? God has truly done a transformational work in my life in the last 40 years. And I just thank God because he's an amazing God. But guess what? God hasn't given up on us. And so you don't give up on you. You don't give up on your family. You don't give up on hope. You don't give up on life. Okay? It's been a long, long time. That's right. I know, and you finally found me, hey? Yep, because, hey, I, I try to stay out of the limelight these days. But God is good, and God is awesome, man. Okay, so take care, and I'll send me a message, and I'll, I'll try to communicate with you, okay? All right, um, Brashadi, Lorenzo, Samir, are you in France? Are you in Paris? Okay, and um, Louise, hi. Okay, how you doing? Tell Pasi I said hello. Um, have a fantastic day. Keep doing what you're doing. You're always making people look beautiful on the outside and the inside. So I celebrate you there in your life today and your kids today and um hopefully i see you guys sometime this week all right god bless take care and i'm out of here my break's over hey so warriors for freedom stay strong trust god this miracle happening for you right now that's it period there's a miracle happening for all of us right now and there's hope there's hope. that's it i'm out bye